That's me. <laughs> I'm ready. Uh, okay, so you'll, you'll be able to guess easily who I work uh, for. Uh, so why study math and language history? And here are some reasons. Uh, fostering understanding, uh, calibrating relative difficulty, helping teachers to understand, lots of things. <laughs> why language is important. Uh, we teach L's, math vocabulary is confusing. Uh, SMP3 is create viable arguments and critique the reasoning of others, and students can learn from etymology. But this has a history focus. This uh, building, uh, there was an attempt to destroy it with, uh, to, uh, with um, explosives. It was supposed to split in two halves and fall. One, one half fell, the other half didn't. And so that's leaning. Uh, so what about a right angle? What's right about a right angle? Well, uh, here's, some, here's some English usage. Rectitude, right, orthodox, uh, practice religion correctly, orthodontist, fix your teeth. My grandfather always said normal is, is what's right. And there are math corresponding to that. So, um, so right angle means that. Um, then there are prefixes, Latin and uh, Greek. Kind of interesting, quadrilateral is what we say. In Britain, they say quadrangle. Boy, that goes fast. Um, <laughs> Straight line. Here's, here's straight line. It's same root as stretched linen. That's where it comes from. Um, yes, and regular, I, when I was teaching, I, I said a regular hexagon is very special, and they said if, if, a, if it's so special, why is it called regular? Uh, here's improper fractions, um, and fraction comes from a part of something, so fractions bigger than one are improper, because they're not a part of something, they're not a fragment. Um, scalene comes from a stirred up or, or hoed up, and it's uneven, really. Uh, isosceles, uh, iso is equal, equal legs. And, and the root also means bent. The, the legs are bent in, in when it's sitting on its base. Um, vertex, this is fascinating. Originally meant whirl or eddy. Vortex is a, is a mispronunciation. Uh, then uh, the vertex is the pivot point of the heavens. So it's the top of the parabola or the bottom. Here's looking up at the Transamerica Pyramid. When you look up at the vertex, you are vertical. That's where the word vertical comes from. Um, and here are some vertical angles, but here are some horizontal vertical angles. <laughs> Uh, then there's language confusion within math. A quadrilateral has four sides, but quadratic polynomial has degree two. How come? Well, it depends on whether you're talking about the number of sides or the dimension. Um, and also, here's the square sitting on its root, the square root of the square. Uh, there's confusion with everyday language. I left the Fahrenheit Celsius conversion table on the table. What, uh, I owe this one to Harold. What's the difference between 11 and 6? One, one answer is 6 is curvy and 11 is not. Uh, Etc. There, there are a number of others. Acute, but sometimes we get help. Acute means sharp. Ouch. Uh, obtuse means dull, and there's actually a city. And I saw something in the sports. Well, I can't even tell you now. There's a great thing in the sports history. <laughs> I can't do it. Uh, and or or. Um, and, and in English is an expanding word. I want an apple and a banana, but in math it's a limiting word. Two is an even number and a prime. Uh, or in English is a limiting word. You want an apple or a banana, we don't mean both. In, 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 in uh, um, math, math, we could. And uh, negative, uh, odd and negative come from, um, uh, de negative means deny. I mean, these are all uncomfortable words. Odd means uh, uneven. Uh, more discomfort words. Irrational is contrary to even, uh, contrary to reason. Imaginary. Image, originally a, a, a picture in your, in your a, a real picture and then a picture in your mind. Ratio is reasoning and reckoning. Um, 15 seconds to think about wh what year these symbols were first used. Remember the Greeks did all these wonderful things. Uh, they, d they discovered wonderful theorems in 300 BC. In what year were these symbols first used? That's the answer. <laughs> later than you think. So should we teach symbols first? And, and um, the dot was advocated by Leibniz instead of the X because confusing with, um, with variables in 1698. And we still haven't learned that lesson. Um, the, ba the, Babylonian, the Babylonian system was base 60. And they did the square root of two. And look how close they were. I mean, isn't that amazing? Um, and unit fraction. So a final quote, mathematics was born and nurtured in a cultural environment without the perspective the cultural background affords. 
a proper appreciation of the content and state of present-day mathematics is hardly possible. Thank you.